we are hearing from families in West Michigan whose little ones had to be hospitalized because of this viral infection. News 8 digital host Phil Panarski joining us tonight with their message to others. Phil. That's right, Brian Michelle. And while the worst seems to be behind the families of these three children, the experience isn't something they will be forgetting anytime soon. He just had the, the rash on the cheeks from the tape because he mm -hmm. just got the feeding tube out today before we left. Katie Port is still new to being a mom. Her three-month-old son, Weston, recently put her through a crash course. I actually did not know what RSV was until I actually had him. Weston's returned home today, but for nearly two weeks, the newborn battled the virus, eventually being admitted to DeVos Children's Hospital, where he spent time on oxygen and had to be intubated. It's difficult. Um, you never want to see a tube in your child's mouth. And Katie isn't alone. Alex and Priscilla Fernandez just got the good news that their five-year-old daughter, Julissa, is 100% recovered from her second stint with RSV. It's never easy seeing your kid in that situation. Julissa was previously held at DeVos when she was just eight months old. It was still just as hard as the first time. It wasn't easier. Dr. Kelsey Gonring has experience with RSV as a pediatric psychiatrist at DeVos, but this year she saw it firsthand as a parent. Her daughter Vi seemed to just have a cold, but then Gonring noticed something was wrong. The easiest way to describe it is that she just kind of tanked, meaning that she was sleeping for long periods of time, um, not kind of her happy, fun, playful self. And at times I kind of caught her kind of staring off as if she was like really focused on breathing. Despite the stress Vi underwent dealing with the virus, Gonring said that there is a silver lining in this and that fellow parents should be made aware of it. I think parents should always remember that for really young kids, they don't remember these experiences. This is not imprinted on them for the rest of their lives. And all of the parents I spoke to echoed the same sentiment that monitoring your child's breathing over the next few months will be crucial in keeping them healthy. Brian Michelle.